Hey guys, let's get more news from SAN Francisco 49ers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Brock Purdy surprisingly makes case for why he's not NFL or even San Francisco 49ers MVP in 2023. After week 15, the momentum for Brock Purdy being the 2023 NFL MVP is picking up serious steam, however, the San Francisco 49ers quarterback doesn't even think he is the most valuable player on his own team, let alone the entire NFL. Brock Purdy took the NFL by storm in the 49ers' last six games and the playoffs last year. The final player selected in the 2022 NFL draft was thrust into the starting role for a Super Bowl contender and somehow was a catalyst for a major boost in production on offense. But after a shoulder injury in the NFC Championship game, there were some doubts if he could replicate that success in 2023. Yet, after the first 15 weeks of the 2023 NFL season, Purdy's statistics have put him in a special category among the elite players in the league. He is second in passing yards, 3,795, leads the league in touchdowns, 29, and passer rating, 119.0, and only has seven interceptions this season. With the 49ers owning an 11-3 record it is no surprise that he is now considered a serious contender for the MVP award this year. However, while Purdy has put together a legitimate resume in 2023 to be the league MVP, the 23-year-old doesn't even believe he is the most important player on his own team. Following the 49ers' dominant 45-29 victory over the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday, Purdy made the case for Christian McCaffrey as the San Francisco MVP. I think Christian should be MVP, Purdy said, via ESPN. I really do believe that. He does everything for us, and so in my eyes, that's an MVP. McCaffrey has been outstanding this season in his own right. He leads the NFL in rushing yards, 1,292, is second in touchdowns, 13, and yards per game, 95.3, and is also fourth in yards per carry, 5.3. Furthermore, the star running back is fourth on the team in catches, 68, and receiving yards, 509, plus he has tallied seven more TDs through the air on a team with two elite receivers in Debo Samuel and George Kittle. Christian McCaffrey should win NFL MVP award, says San Francisco 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy. San Francisco 49ers quarterbacks Brock Purdy may be among the frontrunners to win NFL MVP this season but he insists teammate Christian McCaffrey should win the award after yet another standout performance. McCaffrey rushed for 115 yards and a touchdown while making five catches for 72 yards and two scores as the 49ers clinched the NFC West division title with a 45-29 victory over the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday. The 49ers running back leads the NFL with 1,292 rushing yards, while his 509 receiving yards lead all players in his position. He is also tied with Raheem Mostert for a league-high 20 touchdowns from scrimmage on the year. Dude, I think Christian should be MVP, Purdy told reporters. I really do believe that. He does everything for us, runs the ball well, can catch the ball. He does everything. And so in my eyes, that's an MVP. Purdy himself starred once more as he shrugged off an early injury scare to throw for four touchdowns as he bolstered his MVP case, including a beautiful back shoulder strike to Debo Samuel for a fourth-quarter score. I don't have to differentiate, thank goodness, but, I've, been around a couple of MVPs probably in my career, and these two are, said 49ers head coach Kyle Shanahan. That's the most obvious thing to me. Obviously, I might be biased being on their team, but I don't think so. Like I said last week, all you've got to do is look at numbers or you've got to look at the film. And whichever one you say is more important to you, I think it's extremely obvious. And if they're both important to you, that should make it even that much stronger. But those guys are playing pretty good. Purdy leads the NFL in quarterback through 14 games having thrown a league-high 29 touchdown passes to just seven interceptions to help the 49ers occupy the number one seed in the NFC. 
McCaffrey has meanwhile strung together 11 games of at least 100 scrimmage yards and earlier this season took his stretch of successive touchdown games to 17 in a row as he vies to become the first non-quarterback to win MVP since Adrian Peterson in 2012. Been actually wanting to stand on a soapbox about this for a while, said tight end George Kittle after Sunday's game. Quarterbacks are definitely the most important piece of the team. Everybody's talking about Purdy, everyone's talking about Dak, Prescott, and that MVP race, and Brock's doing a great job, and he deserves all the love that he's getting. But you've got a guy like Christian McCaffrey and all the things he's done for us in the run game and the pass game and is absolutely elite every single Sunday, he's pretty impressive. The things that him and Tyreek are doing constantly, I don't know how you don't have them both in the MVP conversation. Community Pulse, Charles Woodson among favorite free agents. Our Silver and Black Pride Tuesday community question this week gave members of the SAN Francisco 49ers community the chance to go back in time and name their favorite free agent signings from the franchise. As always, many fans went back in time with their favorite SAN Francisco 49ers moves. Charles Woodson, Jim Plunkett and several great players were mentioned. Of course, NFL free agency has changed a lot. In the past, free agency was largely about players being cut off the scrap heap. But the great Al Davis excelled in this area. Now, free agency is a big deal. Perhaps in the future we will see the Raiders excel in this area. Here are some of their responses. Head to the comments section to share your thoughts and join the conversation. You can sign up for a commenting account below, and we have full-time moderators to enforce the community guidelines. Cheers, and have a great weekend. Charles Cameron Woodson, born October 7, 1976, is an American former football cornerback and safety who played in the National Football League, NFL, for 18 seasons with the Oakland Raiders and the Green Bay Packers. He spent his first 14 seasons playing at cornerback and his final four at safety. Woodson played college football for the Michigan Wolverines, winning the Heisman Trophy as a junior. To date, he is the only defensive player to win the Heisman. Selected fourth overall by the Raiders in the 1998 NFL Draft, Woodson received Pro Bowl selections during his first four seasons and two first-team All-Pro honors. Woodson left the Raiders after eight seasons to join the Packers, where he played his next seven seasons. During his Packers tenure, Woodson was named Defensive Player of the Year in 2009 and won Super Bowl XLV, while extending his Pro Bowl selections to eight and his first-team All-Pro honors to four. He returned to the Raiders for his last three seasons, earning his ninth Pro Bowl selection in his final year. One of the NFL's most decorated players, Woodson is tied with Rod Woodson, no relation, and Darren Sharper for the most defensive touchdowns, second in interceptions returned for touchdowns and tied with Ken Riley for the fifth most interceptions. Woodson is also one of the few players to appear in a Pro Bowl during three different decades. He was inducted to the College Football Hall of Fame in 2018 and the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2021. And you fan, what do you think of the Charles Woodson situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.